Nigerians, the name Adedimeji Latif is not strange. Since coming to Limelight in the early 2010s, courtesy of Yowande Adekoya, he has been making strides in the Nigerian entertainment industry. I'm sure you know that already. So, on entertainment news today, the spotlight is on the one and the only Nollywood sweetheart, Adedimeji Latif. So, like I said, he came into Limelight in 2010, but I don't really want to dwell on when he came into Limelight and all of those things. I just want us to talk about some facts and biography details about him that you definitely did not know. I promise you. I don't know why you want to go and search for it. What I'm going to tell you here today, you do not know about it before now. Before I get into it, I know you already want to know what it is about. If you are yet to subscribe and you are watching this particular video, please do that already. Turn on the notification bell. It is just beside the subscription button. So that small bell, just hit it so that when we have new uploads, you will not miss any of it. Thank you for doing that. Now, let's get right into the business. Ade Dimeji Latif, who, who is he? His upbringing and some of his early career moves before he became the one we know today. Let's start. So, first off, before he became a celebrity, Adejimeji Latif used to work for an NGO that was, that was involved in HIV and AIDS movement. He was a counselor and an informer. What he did basically was, with the NGO he was working with, he would go to villages and all of those places to sensitize people about HIV and AIDS, speak to them about things that is concerning HIV and AIDS and how to prevent it. He was literally doing a very good work. Now, let's continue. Are you please be jotting the numbers though? Because I'm giving you 10 facts. Let's continue. So, after that one, his journey into entertainment, although it had begun prior, he got a job at Horizon TV, you probably did not know that, as a script writer for one of their TV shows titled Sababi. So, he was the script writer for Sababi for two different, two different years, rather, before he also became a host of his own TV show. That is right. You might have noticed a certain somebody that looked like Adejimeti Latif on Horizon TV. It was him that you saw indeed. Moving on, some of his career moves again before he came into Limelight and his breakthrough in 2013. He actually came courtesy of Yewande Adekoya in the movie Kudi Klepto. That was what brought him into Limelight and it also earned him his first ever award. Talk about making him big like at first try. It just, it just went everywhere and he was the best actor in the Africa Magic Movie Choice Award, beating veteran Odilade Adekola and Femi Adebayo to bag that award. Moving on from that number, what number is that now? Adedimeti Latif is an excellent dancer. I think you should be able to tell from his body moves. He's an excellent dancer and before delving into movies, he was a professional dancer for two years. He used to go on this tour, follow all these dance troops to go dance. But then he was not making as much money as he thought he would as a dancer. So he decided to take a pause, reevaluate his life choices. Then he got a nine to five job because we're a white collar job fetching money. He had to quit after two weeks because he realized that was not his life. He had to be on our screens. So he quit being a dancer. He also quit a Jesus English. He also he quits. That is the word. Being a corporate office worker, and then he started acting gig, going for auditions, hoping to make it big in the entertainment industry. And God heard his prayer because who doesn't know the Jimmy Latif? If you do not know the Jimmy Latif, we need to check you. I don't really watch your bad movies, but I know who that person is. He's even featured in Hollywood movies. He was in Sugar Rush, if you did not know that. Why well, watch Sugar Rush because of the Jimmy Latif? Moving on, his one-man show on his birthday on the 1st of February in the year 2020, just before the pandemic, that was really favorable on his behalf for. Because just before the pandemic, he had his own one-man show that actually sold out. And that showed that his love for theater did not begin today. 
he did not start out in film. He started out in theaters. You know, I said he was a dance person and all that. I used to dance for theater shows too. And when he came back again into the entertainment industry after trying corporate job, and in his auditions, he auditioned for theater roles. So his love for theater started actually at age 15 in 2007 while he was in secondary school. He was a brilliant student. It was obvious he could move his body and act. So whenever they have shows in school and they needed students to go represent the school, it was always the number one pick. So since 2007, 20, at the age of 15, he has been in theater. So his journey did not start today. Another thing you, I'm sure you do not know about him is that, you know, we are all aware that he knows how to act Igbo role very well, the Igbo uncle role. And he has another alter ego, the Mama Kweju character where he dresses up as a woman and speaks in a very mellow tone that is actually very funny. He mimics a lot. Mama Akmej is actually an auntie of his that he mimics. Growing up, he grew up with this particular lady and the way she acts inspires whatever he does in that skit. Also, the Igbo boy role that he plays really well is mimicked after one of his teachers in secondary school. So while he was in secondary school, he had an Igbo teacher who everyone used to make jest of. But he found him fascinating. And so while we make, you know the way in school, we used to go and mimic our teachers, you know, after the old class session and everything, he used to go mimic that Igbo man. And look at how that shaped his life. Now he's actually mimicking for a living. Where were all the mimickers in your school? And they used to punish us, make us new down, and then they beat us for mimicking a teacher. We did not know that I actually can make money from it. So if you know how to mimic very, maybe you should keep at it and make it a career. You never know, you might be a star tomorrow. Moving on, let's talk something else I'm sure you do not know about him. His love life. This is literally the most controversial aspect of Adedimeji Latif. As much as he's an humble and a very private person, his relationship with a certain Bingbe Oyebade has left us not. They are confusing our lives. On social media, they are together. Off screen, when you ask him about your relationship, you just say, eh, he's somebody I like to work with. He's a very, he's a very good friend of mine. And these guys have business ventures together. They work together, they have business, literal business that they co-own. And it's like, how is this person not your love interest? And there are these, these, these very discreet messages they post on social media about themselves. There was even when one, one where Bing Bay Oyeba, they actually captioned it, their introduction ceremony. And it's like, is this a stunt for a movie? Are you trying to get us crazy because there's a movie you guys are shooting together? Or are you guys actually lovers? But then their friends and family says they are lovers. So, if you have a crush on him and you were thinking that by chance, somehow, somewhere, you'll be walking and you'll be shooting on the streets, and people will just jump to not be love at first sight, and he will say he's not going anywhere, he's not leaving that town until he marries you. Sorry about that, though, because the Jimmy Jimmy is actually taken. Or maybe not taken. I don't know. Shoot your shot because none of, both of them don't know what is actually doing them. Moving on from his love life, something you do not know is also, of course you should know, this is a very humble person who, if he was not in the limelight, would be a teacher. In an interview that he had, he said if he knew what came with being a famous person, he would have avoided it. I mean, I feel like not, all, not every celebrity would say that. He said he would have avoided the fame, the limelight, the bruaha, the controversies that come with being a celebrity because he's a very private person and he takes his craft very diligently. In fact, there have been reports that before he takes on a role or sometimes between roles, he actually goes, takes out time to go pray and hold a retreat with his God to you know, get direction for the kind of movie script he would take before he acts certain roles. Maybe that's like another reason why his career has actually accelerated very fast because he's not even 10 years in the industry and he's won multiple awards, he's done international collaborations and he's an ambassador for Ufit Fly, which is an international organization. That could be the secret to, you know, the massive growth he has experienced in the span of a very short while. Lastly, and something you do not know about him is crying abilities. When I actually knew Adedimeji Latif, personally, I knew him as a guy who cries a lot in movies. Now, he has attributed his crying abilities to his mom. He says he got the skill to be a good cry baby from his mom who cries very easily. I can't see him. His mom is an empath who experiences people's pain she literally breathes it and takes it in and so that is the kind of person that he is he is able to fully immerse 
himself in whatever role or whatever character he's supposed to play. And if he needs to cry, he easily feels the pain the character should feel, and it comes really easy for him to cry. No, I mean, that must be nice. I wonder if it's like that, like in real life, real life, real life, when someone feels the pain, he really starts crying with them. That must be nice. What now? He's a brand ambassador. I already mentioned that he's a brand ambassador to many organizations, including Jufit Fly. He has his own fashion line. He's an entrepreneur. He's not making his money just from acting. I mean, I, mean, I feel like every other actor makes their money not just from acting. And that is it about the fact you do not know about Adejimeji Latif. Before I round up, let me just give you something like his brief story of his growing up. He actually grew up in Lagos, Nigeria. He is 35 years old. His birthday is on the 1st of February, and he hails from Abeokuta, Ogun State. There you have it. Did you, is there something about Adekunle? Excuse me. There's something about Adejimeji Latif that I did not mention, and you know, let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, you know how we'll do it. Give it a thumbs up already. Subscribe to this channel if you are yet to do that. I've said it several times. Please subscribe to this channel already. And turn on the notification bell so you will not miss our uploads when it is out. Until then, bye.